Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mint. Linux Mint came out with a brand new ISO this past week. And in my last video, I showed you how to download and verify the ISO in Windows 10 and in Arch Linux. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a live USB thumb drive with Linux Mint inside a Windows 10 virtual machine and inside my bare metal computer with Arch Linux. And when I do it in Arch Linux, I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. So, let's get to it. So right now I'm in a virtual machine of Windows 10, and what I'm gonna do is open up Firefox. And I'm gonna type in Rufus. And I'm gonna click this on, and I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna click on this one, Standard for Windows. This is from May 22nd, this year, 2024. So I'm gonna click it on and download it. And it's completed. And I'm gonna close uh, my web browser. And now I'm gonna open up my file manager. And I'm gonna go to downloads. And I'm gonna click it on. Now, I already have a USB thumb drive plugged into my system. And I already downloaded the Linux Mint ISO for my last video. Okay. So I'm going to click on this Rufus and I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to say yes. So it's already detected my 64 gig byte thumb drive. And also just to let you know, uh, you have to make sure there's nothing on there that you need because it's going to erase and format the whole thumb drive and put the live Linux Mint ISO on it. Okay. What we want to do is not click it on on the arrow, but click it on in the middle of the field. I'm going to click it on in the middle of the field, and it's going to bring up my file manager. Now I have to go to the place where my Linux Mint ISO is. So it's in drive C. It's in a folder called Mint 22, and there it is there. So I'm going to click it on and I'm going to open it. And there we go. And now I'm going to click on Start. It's telling you which one you want it to do. You want to do an ISO image mode, recommended, or in DDD image mode. And you know what? I'm going to do it in DDD. I like DDD. So I'm, but you can do either one. Okay. So let's click OK. And it's warning you that everything on the thumb drive is going to be deleted. Okay. And it's writing the image. Now. This should only take a, a minute or so. And number one, I recommend that you use a thumb drive that's number three. And of course, the number three ones have uh, the blue on them in the inside. So this is a number three thumb drive, and you can see it has the blue inside. The thumb drive ports in your computer are also going to be blue if they're number three. And because if it's number three, it's going to be a lot faster. Now. This is going to take a little bit more time because my thumb drive is number three and I do have number three ports in this computer. However, I'm having a problem with them. Uh, they keep disconnecting and reconnecting and I don't know why. I even opened up my computer. I took it apart and it seemed like the wires were okay and everything was okay. But my front USB ports, my number three USB ports won't stay connected. So even though I'm using a number three thumb drive, I plugged it into a number two port because they're working. So it's going to take a little bit longer for me to write this image. It might take five minutes. I don't know. We're at 27%. So, oh, and while I'm here, <laughs> if anyone out there is watching that has any ideas on how I can fix my USB 3 ports on my computer, let me know in the comments. Because like I said, I opened it up and it didn't seem like there was any loose wires or anything. I tried cleaning them out. You know, made sure there was no dust inside the ports. But like I said, if you have any ideas, let me know. I appreciate it. Anyways, I'm going to pause the video and come back. So don't go away. Okay, so it finished. That took about five minutes. And that's because my USB 3 ports aren't working. And I have it plugged into a USB 2 port. And it's ready to go. So now... My Linux Mint 22 
image is written on the thumb drive. And all I have to do is reboot my computer and press F12 or F11 or escape to get into the boot menu, boot onto the thumb drive and load up Linux Mint. Now, if you want, you can play with Linux Mint. And if you don't like it, you can power down your computer, pull out the thumb drive, restart your computer and log into Windows and there'll be no harm, no foul, no damage done. But when you're playing with Linux Mint, if you like it, there's an icon you can click on, which will actually install it on your computer. And of course it will erase your Windows system. So now I'm in my real bare metal computer of Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And I'm gonna show you how to make your live USB thumb drive in Arch Linux. And I'm gonna show you two methods. So the first way I'm going to show you is in a terminal. And I'm going to CD into ISO, Mint 22, and LS it. And you see all these files in here because I verified my ISO. And this is the ISO right here. I'm going to switch into root. And for some reason, sudo doesn't work here with this command. So I just switch into root. And why sudo doesn't work, I don't know. Now, in one of my previous videos, someone explained it to me in the comments, but I don't remember what the person said. And before I do that, I'm just going to do lsblk. And I just want to make sure. Now, you can see my, uh, my thumb drive is sdb, and I knew it was, right? But you want to make sure, okay? I want to be careful, okay? Well, now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to type in cat Linux Mint ISO. You leave a space and put the arrow there. Leave another space. I'm going to type in slash dev slash sdb. And I'm going to hit enter. And of course, it looks like it's doing nothing, but it's working. And like I mentioned before, my USB 3 ports aren't working, so I plugged it into a USB 2 port. So it's gonna take probably longer, it's gonna take maybe five minutes. But if you plug it into a USB uh, 3 port, it might only take a minute or two. So it's gonna take a little bit longer, so I'm gonna pause the video and come back, so don't go away. And before that, before I go away, I'm just gonna remind you that when you do this, it's gonna erase everything that's on the USB drive. So you have to make sure you don't need anything that's on it. And it's gonna take that USB thumb drive, gonna put Linux Mint on it, a live bootable ISO. Okay, uh, that took a really long time. <laughs> took 15 minutes and I never had it take that long making an ISO this way. This way is really fast. But like I said, my USB 3 ports aren't working. So I plugged it into a USB 2 port and I can't believe it took 15 minutes. But for you, it shouldn't take that long as long as you're using a USB 3 thumb drive and you're plugging it into a USB 3 port. So now there's another way. Uh, perhaps you don't like using a terminal. There's a program called GNOME Disks. It's fantastic. And I'm going to show you how to do it that way. So I'm still in. Arch Linux, but this time I'm in there inside the GNOME desktop environment. And the reason why is that uh, you can do this in the awesome window manager, but I don't have an authenticator installed at the moment. I logged out and I logged into the GNOME desktop environment. And like I said, you don't have to be in the GNOME desktop environment. And this method will work with the Nemo file manager and the Nautilus file manager, but for some reason it doesn't work with PC Man FM. Why? I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is open up Nautilus. I don't have it pinned down here. So I'm gonna click it on, and we're in Nautilus. What I'm gonna do is go to Home, I'm gonna go to ISO, and I'm gonna go to my Mint folder, and I'm gonna grab the Linux Mint ISO. I'm gonna right click it, I'm gonna open with Disk Image Writer. And you can see here, the image to restore is Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon 64-bit ISO. Now, this is the important part, destination. You have to be careful. 
you click on the menu you don't want to do your hard drive you want to do your thumb drive you click on i just clicked on my 62 gigabyte thumb drive and i'm going to start restoring are you sure you want to write the disk image to the device i'm going to restore now it's asking for my password and it's restoring and it says it's going to take two minutes let's see <laughs> because i'm using uh well because I have it plugged into a USB 2 port rather than a USB 3 port. But looks like it's going kind of fast. Anyways, I'm going to put you on hold and I'm going to come back when it's finished. And it finished. So that took about five minutes. It didn't take as long as the other one. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how to make a bootable live USB thumb drive of Linux Mint. And I showed you how to do it in Windows 10. And I showed you how to do it in Arch Linux. And I showed you two methods. One in the terminal and one using your file manager and GNOME disks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.